Greetings, adventurers. Welcome back to another bite-sized movie review. Today, we'll be taking a look at Raiders of the Lost Ark. This was released in 1981. It stars Harrison Ford as Indiana Jones, treasure-hunting archaeologist. We have Karen Allen as Marion Ravenwood, Paul Freeman as the villainous Belloc, Ronald Lacey as Major Tot. We have John Reese davies as Sala, Den Denholm Elliott as Marcus Brody. And yeah, it's a rip-roaring adventure ride. Uh, this is, of course, directed by Steven Spielberg and produced by George Lucas. And the Indiana Jones franchise is one of my most favorite series. Obviously, I didn't grow up with it, but I grew up watching it a lot as a kid. And every time I watch Ra Raiders of the Lost Ark, it just gets better and better. Um, this movie is, was released in 1981. It is an hour and 45 minutes long, and it is an action-adventure um, film. And it, the story is pretty simple. We've got the Nazis looking for a supernatural artifact, and they somehow get the plans or the idea to snag the uh, Ark of the Covenant, of course, a famous uh, relic from the past, and Indiana Jones is hired by the U.S. government to get it back and get it into a museum before the Nazis get their mitts on it. And that is the story. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, the, and essentially, this is a love, like a bit of a, it's a bit of an all kind of, kind of genre. It's blending a bunch of different genres. So we've got the action adventure genre, which is the main focus. And then we have the um, romance uh, brewing between Indy and Marion. Uh, Indy finds his old flame, Marion, and she's brought into the whole adventure. The Nazis kidnap her. He has to rescue her and get the Ark. And he travels to Egypt and to Cairo and all around the world to get the uh, the Ark of the Covenant. And it's a really exciting film. If you're a fan of action movies, you've probably seen this. If you love adventure movies, you've probably seen this or at least heard of it. Because um, it's very famous um, and it was kind of the star-making role for Harrison Ford, not, not necessarily because he played Han Solo in the original Star Wars, and also, uh, The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi, so those three movies, the original Star Wars trilogy kind of cemented Harrison Ford as a star, but the Indiana Jones franchise is where he really came along as an actor, and so, honestly, I prefer Harrison more as Indy than Han, but I can get the argument that Han is either superior or not. It's just a matter of what you prefer. Um, I just prefer him more as, as Indy. I feel like he comes across more naturally as Indiana Jones, more than Han Solo. But we'll save that for another time. Um, it's great. Everyone does a fantastic job. Uh, I think John Reese davies is really underrated as an actor. And he does a wonderful job portraying Salah. Uh, one of Indy's old friends and who he meets in Cairo and he comes back for the last crusade which we'll talk about in another video Karen Allen my word she is magnetic as R Marion Ravenwood she has this spunk this feisty sassiness this confidence that Indy has to match and them two together Harrison Ford and Karen Allen their chemistry is absolutely spectacular um and it's awesome. Uh, we do have Paul Freeman, who plays a wonderful villain, who is uh, Belloc, Indy's uh, his old rival from his uh, younger days. So he is also after the Ark, and he's hired by the Nazis to get it. And speaking of the Nazis, we have Ronald Lacey, who plays a sinister uh, Gestapo agent named Ron, uh, named uh, Major Tote. Sorry, I said Tot in the beginning. It's actually Tote. Um... And lastly, I think Denno Elliott brings a wonderful, like, uh, charisma to the role of Marcus Brody. You can tell that he and Indy have been friends for several years. And, um, yeah, it's great to see their chemistry. Uh, he also returns in The Last Crusade. And, my word, have I have to mention the music. The This is probably, this is my favorite score from John Williams. The Indiana Jones theme across all three films. Honestly... All the music from the original three indie movies is like my favorite score for, from John Williams. It even beats out Star Wars theme, which is legendary in and of itself. Um, John Williams, he just has this magical 
ability to transport you into whatever film or show or whatever you're watching. This music that he makes is just so unbelievably good. And the Raiders March is one of the greatest pieces of music ever written. And uh, it's legendary for a reason. Um, and it fits every single scene. In this movie, there is not a single boring scene, in my opinion. Every time I watch this, I just get excited and there's nothing to bore me at all. It's just everything works. The action works, the romance, the dialogue, the uh, music, the just the story itself. It all works so well. And it's shot really well. The costumes are fantastic. The, the set pieces are great. Uh, the practical effects, there's almost no visual effects in the movie. The only, I guess the only computer effects would be at towards the end of the film when the arc gets opened. And that's when all the computer effects mainly show up. But for the majority of Raiders, there is no, almost no computer effects. It's all practical, which is amazing. And all three of the indie films have practical effects, so that is great uh, to see. Hopefully ND5 will have uh, more practical effects. Just hoping for that. Um, honestly, there's not a bad thing about Raiders of the Lost Ark. I have absolutely zero complaints with this film. Raiders of the Lost Ark is a perfect, perfect movie. Flawless film. I have no problems with it. It remains one of my favorites. I watch it often. As a kid, I think I watched The Temple of Doom the most, but Raiders... It's a masterpiece. I mean, what can you say? It's it's awesome. I mean, there's so many scenes that people love. I mean, the, the truck chase. I mean, you've got the opening in the Lost Temple with the idol. You've got uh, all the scenes with the snakes and the Well of Souls. You've got the, the swordsman scene. Uh, you've got the basket chase. Um, the bar fight. The uh, airplane fight. Uh, the opening of the Ark. Uh, the submarine. I mean, there's just so many scenes with this. And... It's just so well done. Like, you can tell they had a passion. Steven Spielberg wanted to make a James Bond movie, but they couldn't necessarily do that. So George Lucas thought of, well, why don't we do Indiana Smith, someone who's like James Bond, uh, except he's an archaeologist, and he hunts for relics. And then Spielberg said, well, why don't we change the name to Jones, the last name, and then Indiana Jones was born. And that, it's it just, it's so great to see all the behind the scenes of how this franchise has evolved honestly uh this is probably one of the greatest action films that has ever been made it just feels so thrilling engaging so like enjoyable fun uh, it's an adventure it's just so awesome um in my opinion uh so my dad introduced me to the to the indiana jones series when i was a kid and i just fell in love like indiana jones is one of those like iconic legendary characters and he remains one of my favorites um i even was indiana jones at um for halloween one year i kind of want to get the costume again just to cosplay because oh i love this character um he just go great um and there's not a bad thing to say about this film everything works everything in my opinion um and i love the sequels just as much as raiders i love temple of doom I love The Last Crusade, and it's a shame they never made a fourth one, right? So, you know, it's a little bit disappointing. You know, they could have made a fourth one, but, you know, it just never happened. So, you know, it is what it is. Three movies, that's fine. It's pretty good. Pretty good trilogy. Um, I would say, if you're a fan of Harrison Ford, you got to see Raiders of the Lost Ark. If you're a fan of, um, you know, Star Wars and you want something kind of not similar but with the same team then Raiders of the Lost Ark is great. If you're looking for an awesome 80s film, this is classic. Um, this is just a fantastic... Honestly, I feel like Steven Spielberg's greatest work is the indie trilogy, in my opinion. It's my favorite, like, series from him. And, yeah. I mean, what else is there to say? Raiders of the Lost Ark. Fantastic adventure ride. Um... And, yeah, the ultimate adventure, the ultimate hero. Um, I, I almost prefer the indie trilogy more than Star Wars in, in some aspects. Um, yeah, but Star Wars being my favorite franchise, then the indie trilogy kind of is second place, but still, it's, it is phenomenal. 
go out and see Raiders of the Lost Ark. Grab a copy, grab a, you know, streaming service, whatever you got. You got to see this if you love action. So, 10 out of 10. Raiders of the Lost Ark. Amazing. Nothing more to say. I will, t I will definitely do a review of the Temple of Doom in due time, as well as the Last Crusade. And when Indy 5 comes out, then I'll do a review on that. And, um, yeah. Hope to see you then. Thank you so much for watching this. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about Indiana Jones in the comments below. And um, I will see you for the next bite-sized review. Thanks so much. Take care. And have a rip-roaring ride.